Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little quick video on how I was able to get uh, Glow Light Daniels or Daniel Chopra to spawn in this little setup over here. Uh, I tried looking for videos on both well, videos and information uh, online about breeding these fish and there was very little information that I could find apart from the fact that they need circulation to uh, be in to be induced to despawning, as well as having falling water, which basically simulates monsoon, which also helps in triggering the fish to spawn. So, uh, what I've done in this setup is add a lot of plants, edit in journal paper over there, use silicone tubing from there to this little pipe over here, and then keeping the water down. Uh, it's in the middle of our cool season, so water usually gets to around. 23, 22 degrees Celsius, so this is also a good temperature for the granules to fill up home because this is the cooler temperatures that they're used to. I tried keeping them in a summer dump as Rachel really did, but one problem that I think I had was that I didn't have constant aeration, so the water wasn't circulating all the time. Well, she was able to get spawns or like similar tubs. Uh, I kept mine in another setup for about three weeks. I didn't see anything, so I decided to switch tactics and try it out with this little uh, setup that I have over here. So, lots of plants to make the Daniels feel comfortable. Uh, rocky bottom water that's like flowing from over here, presumably to there. And most importantly, I have a little glass bowl over here with spawning mops. So I've been spawning blocks have been much more useful to me because uh, if I try to clump up uh, any other living plants into here, they typically start accumulating mom and that could also be bad for the egg because it's basically too much nutrients that could introduce bacteria, fungus, and other nasty stuff. And the second reason is that they don't decay so uh, this is something that we could keep using over and over again. Uh, we don't have to shut it, we don't need to be worried about uh, plant bits either going to rot off, which it still could give food for the baby fry with interstitial and other stuff that might grow in there, but that's another debatable topic. Anyways, point being, I did this uh, thing last night, and when I checked it this morning, I found eggs. I found eight of them actually, and they looked like um, eggs that you could find from CBD, spotted Daniels, but they had a slight orange tint to it. So this was something that was really, really, not that I was really looking forward to. And as the day went on throughout the morning, I took it out a few times, rinsed out the spawning mops, and the largest that I got was from the second instance where I got, I think, around 30 or so eggs. And so far, I'm hovering at around 50, I believe. And um, so I'm not sure if they're finished spawning for this time frame, but if there are other females that are still holding eggs, then maybe they would also keep that over here for the next few days. So I also read that these guys take about 10 days to uh, become ready to spawn again, so we'll see how things go from there. This is how I've been keeping the young, which is with a sponge filter with fairly slow um, airflow so that it doesn't really like it's enough to circulate the water but it's not going to be very turbulent to the point that it could make swimming for the fry very challenging i've added plants already i might add some dry duckweed just to get some starving infusoria that would introduce food for the baby fish so um, since they're dependent on the yolk sac for the first three, four days, I might hold it off from it for now, maybe do it separately and then slowly add it in. Uh, fortunately, I also bought brine shrimp eggs not long ago, so that will also be useful if I wanted to, if I need like a uh, good live protein source for these fish. So yeah. Uh, I think these should hatch in the next 2-3 days. This is something that I am really really looking forward to because uh, breeding fish that's 
from cooler climates is much challenging and uh, as you may know it will be quite re uh, rewarding for me as well because I'm able to do this in a warmer climate and yeah let's see how things go from there so thanks for watching and see you in the next video I guess when these little guys are out and about and ready to face a new year with all of us and a happy new year to all of you too so see ya